It's advanced maths and chemistry. One of the German scientists is teaching it. We're not paying extra school fees for something you'll never use. That's too bad. All the brightest boys are taking it. The ones from their best families. And I'll need help with my homework. And we'll get to know each other. <sighs> for once, you're talking sense. Maybe this once, we can scrape together some money. If you can talk your way in. He already said yes. Imagine my surprise. I don't actually like long walks. They've already started. I've got to get to the poison before they all take it. Transcendent will catch us. 
There's no punishment, except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution, unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just won't ascend. You don't transcend. And sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh will Let's go. Let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. The pickup vehicle is not really in all that. What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not move it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange to you? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek moksha. Liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there, but if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom, okay? What I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh bag behind. Throwing it overboard, how can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have faith that the transcendent will catch us. There's no punishment, except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution, unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just won't ascend. You don't transcend. And sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh bag. Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world, we all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure. I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, Well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not really in orbit? What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not move it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek moksha, liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and to joyfully give up this world. Because, of course, there is a pickup vehicle. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there, but if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh behind. Throwing it overboard, how can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's ballast. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. 
This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have not faith for the transcendent of hunters. There's no punishment except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just want to say you don't transcend. And sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going on <laughs> your flesh Let's go, let's get those cups out to everyone who wants some. This is our test of faith, my friends. We hate this world. We all hate this world. We hate living in this flesh bag, not knowing our higher purpose. But do we hate it enough? Anyone can say, sure, I hate living in a flesh bag. But then you say to them, well, don't then. And they're scared. They're scared to jump. What if the pickup vehicle is not really in orbit? What if there is no pickup vehicle? That's why you need to hate, really hate the flesh bag. You have to be willing to not live in it without any solid confirmation that the pickup vehicle is there. Does this seem strange to you? It shouldn't. Jesus Christ said. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. Matthew 16. The Hindus seek moksha, liberation from the cycle of rebirth. They all ask us to embrace the next world and joyfully give up this world. Because of course, there is a big up here. I've been on it. I've talked to the transcended, both humans and aliens. Trust me, I would have been happy to stay up there, but if I had, I couldn't tell you the good news. I'm not talking about martyrdom. No one's talking about martyrdom. Okay, what I'm talking about might look like martyrdom to the cowards. I'm talking about leaving the flesh bag behind. Throw it away. How can you float up to the pickup vehicle if you're weighed down by a bag? You can't. It's balanced. We have to leave the flesh bag and be our soul. Be only our soul. This is not suicide. Suicide is giving up. This is taking a leap of faith. We have to have That's faith what they're gonna poison the everyone with. It will catch us. There's no punishment except how you're already being punished. There's no retribution unless you already feel like you're being retributed. You just won't ascend. You don't transcend, and sooner or later, but probably sooner, the way things are going, your flesh bag. If I've done this right, they I realize the world is a lot bigger than the Garden District. Or this something. This is our test of faith, my friend. We're going to start handing out the cups now. Don't worry, there's enough for everyone, more than enough. But don't sip it, or you might feel sick for a bit. A little might make you queasy. A full cup and you won't feel a thing. You'll just wake up in a little while, feeling no pain, feeling no gravity, looking down at the earth from the pickup vehicle, and then you'll get to meet everybody up there. Hansi. Really beautiful, aren't they? They're like... God's hands. I've never noticed all the colours. Is this heaven? Life's so short, you know? This place is bad. It's a bad place. Why did you want us to die? Why? It's because you wanted to die, isn't it? You just wanted company. Let's get out of here. We're leaving. You can kill yourself if you like. Wait, don't go. You'll miss the pickup vehicle. You'll all miss the pickup vehicle. You sick 
dying bastard. What are you doing? These people are trying to get to a higher plane of existence. Are you mad? Or are you just a swindler who's convinced himself? I don't think I care. Prove it's not true. You can't. You might as well try to prove that God doesn't exist. I think Wellington Wells is a pretty good proof of that. Get out, meddler! Heathen! Sorry. Pickup vehicle service on this line has been permanently suspended. You stopped them. How do you know that? Magic? <laughs> we can see it in your face. They weren't very happy with me. You took away their sense of purpose. I couldn't let them do it. What your mother did. Do you worry you have that in you? All the time. To be a mother is to worry. You have worlds within you. Only some are deaf. Here, the recipes you need to replace the Blackberry Joy. You'll need red owl butterflies, Opsiphanus cassii. They're hard to find, but they're all over the train station. You can use our old butterfly net. Thank you. Oh, perfect. Ollie Starkey lives there. Who knows if he'll remember me. Well then. Blessed be. Blessed be. Blessed be. Off I go to the train station. Then to catch some butterflies. I know. Believe me. I know. Burned hand teaches best, they say. Filthy bu- Just 
Just like childbirth. You barely remember the misery. Listen to a personal message for our prudent friend. Do not forget your galoshes. Do not forget your galoshes. Scorch marks? Did somebody blow it up? I hope the butterfly survived. I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me. Getting out that way. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I'd go anyway. I'm going to pretend you've never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids adapt. Oh, you can't understand what it's like, can you? For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. And you probably never will be, will you? <sighs> Hiding up there, are you? You think I can't climb in these heels? <sighs> You're so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. I wonder if caterpillars have any inkling what's going to happen to them. I wonder if they'd choose it. 
if they could. Satisfying than undermining the other girl's confidence.
Now, how do I get out of here? Well, you wouldn't survive the winter anyway. This is brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. <laughs> 